all my life, ever since I can remember, I would hear like some wind or some ruffling, even if I'm in a cave and it's totally silent, my mind would like create like some sounds, like uh, some crickets or something, like kind of like tinnitus or something like this, I would still hear sounds. Basically, I wanted for 30 days to block off my external ears and attach a copper funnel to my mouth in the hopes that uh, I could redirect sound the way that it enters my body and have it enter through my eustachian tubes, which are inside near the middle ear and the inner ear, and also through my sinus cavity, and then by redirecting the way sound enters my body, I wanted it to uh, uh, affect my pineal gland. Eight days. I still quit two days early. If you look at the copper funnel over there, there's a rubber plastic mouth guard, so the copper never came in contact with my mouth or my skin. But I had a dream on the 28th night, and, I, uh, and in my dream, the god Poseidon uh, reached down on the bottom of the ocean floor and picked up my copper funnel, but it was been there so long it was covered in coral. And then I woke up and I pulled the copper funnel out and looked at the end of it, and where my saliva had gotten in between the copper and the rubber plastic mouth guard, it started corroding and turning into that coral looking color. And I thought, oh my gosh, I might start giving myself a copper poisoning or something. It's not safe anymore. So pay attention. Red Bull is not cartoons. Red Bull is not cartoons. TV dinners take you out of the I'm trying to be able to create a composition like in a music score or something like this but with different emotions. I'm not really sure how to explain it. There's one part that I'm going to do that's brand new. I've never done it before and it's all dream stuff like sleep talking writing but I'm not going to be reading it like I would if I was asleep or, you know, like on the recordings. I'm going to be doing it like with the tragedy or you're going to die like this type of thing. So I'm like mixing up all these different things that I've done in the past and try to create some pictures. With Energizer, Earth Flakes, Fresh Fry Sticks, Fuel Goon Dust, Gorilla Tabs, Green Leaves, Green Tea, Happy Sticks, HCP, Heaven and Hell, Herms, Hinkley Hog, Horse Tranquilizer, L Ellie's, Ellie Momo, Jet Fuel, Jim Jones, Juice, K-Blast, Caps, Killer, Killer Weed, K-Jet, Ghouls, K-W, Leak, Leaky Bola, Leaky Leaks, Lenos, Lethal Weapons, Little Ones, Live Ones, Lovelies, Love, Love Boat, Mad Dog, Magic, Magic Dust. See, I used to do this thing called stand-up tragedy, where I just would try everything possible with video and audio and language to make people in the audience cry. One time I went to the store and the cashier's face melted off. One time I went to the store and, and faked the seizure so my friend could steal a dozen eggs from the store. One time I went to the store and saw two people hooked up to IV bags in the back of the store. But then, uh, as I progressed on, I ended up switching that because the goal was to see everywhere you go there's psychopathic people, like crazy, really crazy people, and uh, I wanted to force those people to have feelings. And so I tried to create the most intense, emotional, sad show ever so those people would cry. But after doing this for a while, uh, one, uh, people, when they let go out on like a Friday night or Thursday night, they want to have a good time. They don't want someone to make them cry. So it's already not really a very fun thing. And then I tried to make these psychopath people cry and it has the opposite effect on them. It makes them even crazier and then they, they uh, laugh. Not uncomfortable laughter. Uh, they take everything I say in a psychopathic way, still have no feelings. And so then I thought, okay, I'm going to try to make these psychopathic people in the audience feel like they're going to die. Like right now, I'm going to like do be so intense that this person, even if they're crazy, they're going to think someone's going to stab them right now. They're gonna, about to die, like panic attack, like you're going to die. When I was six years old, a grown man with no clothes on 
ran up the street, chased by police in front of my house, screaming about, where's my fucking bicycle? Give me my fucking bicycle! Want my fucking bicycle! And he ain't have no bicycle. Years later on 10th and P, Northwest DC, a black girl named Pony, jacked up on PCP and meth, starving to death, ate both of her children.